Welcome to the Dragon's Fed. Now, it's not just new businesses that throw themselves on the mercy of the dragons. Occasionally, established businesses come grov... I mean, with an offer, because they need to recapitalize. That was the case for American Edward Liddy. Remember, only one can win. The rest will go away with zilch. Nothing. Nil. Nada. Dicky. Hi, my name is Edward Liddy from American International Group. We're here today to ask the Dragons for $85 billion for a 51% share in our company. We're a 90-year-old global insurance and financial services company, and we employ 116,000 people in 130 countries. Insurance is old hat. How do you reach a valuation of $170 billion? We're listed on three stock markets. Until recently, we were the largest insurance company in the world, and we need the cash to get back to that. It seems Duncan hasn't taken to Edward. F why, you f well, we have a market cap of $7.23 billion and revenues of $110 billion. We own insurance companies all over the world, uh, aerospace, telecommunications, ports. Uh, we have a highly lucrative uh, uh, aircraft leasing arm. And we even own a ski resort. Now, for God's sake, stop faffing around. Why are you here? Well, in the UK alone, we write or underwrite more than 12 million policies a year for Boots, Argos, uh, John Lewis, among others. Look, there's something you're not telling us here. If you are so big and clever, why is it that you have stated assets of one trillion dollars and yet you seem to be asking for a mere 85 billion? Ah, fucking think it's pulling a fucking chain. You fucking wee bam pop fucking sh Yeah, I fuck off on a fucking chin. Please, Duncan. Yes. We suffered a small correction in our share price. What is small, exactly? Well, obviously, being so large and so untouchable, any dip is tolerable, and anything short of ca catastrophic is insignificant. I f***ing swear to f***ing God, I'm gonna f***ing do him! How much? Well, at the beginning of September, we uh, paid a dividend of 22 cents a share, and we closed the day on 22.58 a share. One more time. How much was the fall? Roughly speaking, uh, give or take, uh, seasonally adjusted, 90%. The dragons seem to have zeroed in on some less than convincing numbers. I'm out. So am I. I'm f***ing out, you f***ing wanker. Why the fall? Well, we bought heavily into packaged securitized debts. Uh, at the time of issuing, uh, we felt were good prospects. What kind of debts? Collateralized debt obligations. So you mean bad mortgages, don't you? So that Mr. and Mrs. Uh, crackers could use their money on their trailers and their deposit on moonshine jars and crystal meth as their $12 a month repayments. Yes, sir. And they defaulted. Mm. Yeah. As they had no job, assets or income. Yes, ma'am. And so you bought loads of them? Prayed so. And now their crappy pit bull turd covered trailers are empty and worthless. Yes, ma'am. How much have you written off so far? To date, $25 billion. <laughs> what? Uh, $25 billion? <laughs> right, I'm bored. What else? We own a bit of London City Airport. Too foggy. We sponsor Manchester United so we can get tickets. Man United? Well, why didn't you say so? I love Man United. Come on, you Reds! Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs, running up the wing. Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs, likes it up the... Oh, I can't even get tickets, and I'm worth squillions. Right, 
I'll give you your $85 billion, but I want 80% of the company and I want it returned to the American people. What do you mean, the very same people that we gave the dodgy loans to? The very same. Edward's got the money he came for. The question is, will he give up so much? I don't suppose you could make it 70%, could you? Uh, I got stock options. Let me give you a few names from the dirty AIG accounting scandal from 2005. Securities and Exchange Commission, US Justice Department, New York Federal Attorney's Office, and Padlock, the 23 stone predatory, homosexual, paranoid, schizophrenic, migraine suffering crack fiend currently occupying half of the last cell in Sing Sing. Okay then, done. <laughs> it certainly happened. Chili sauce? Chili sauce? No, thank you. It's hot enough in here already. So, on this occasion, it seems the Dragon's Fed have been sold on the idea of owning a once great, all powerful company brought down by poor decision making, executive incompetence, short selling, and frankly, bad luck. Next up is budding chief executive Adam Applegarth, who wants £30 billion for a 110% share in his company, Northern Crock of Shit.